Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Adam from K6ARK Portable Radio. It's been a minute since I put out a video, so welcome back. Today, we are headed out to a local summit that I call Windy Peak. Not too windy today, fortunately. And my goal today is to run this big old stuff on my back to make some really long distance two meter contacts. There are gonna be a bunch of stations on summits in Arizona about 300 miles away for the 10 point madness weekend event. And I'm hoping to get some of them in the log again on two meters. Let's get up to the summit, get set up, see if we can do it. Almost there, just another couple hundred yards to go, maybe 50 to 100 vertical feet. Nice day, light breeze, keeping it cool, and hopefully it won't get too hot. And here we are, some of the windy peak. All right, very nice. Wind isn't too bad today kind of light, so that's good. Um, I'll probably set up somewhere kind of just out of the wind. But uh, yeah, beautiful day. Should be a heck of a fun activation. So let's get some stuff set up. All right. So let's set this heavy thing down and see what we got in here. Oh pack is heavy today. For starters, on the side I've got a 21 foot jack kite pole. That's going to be for an HF antenna. Got my 12 foot three section pool cleaning pole. That is the mast for the Yagi. And on this side, it's the six element, eight foot boom, packable two meter Yagi. Nine and a half DBD of forward gain and can be set up in a vertical or horizontal polarization for both FM and sideband. So we'll walk through the setup of that in a minute, but let's go through the rest of the pack. Additional camera gear. Coax jumpers, connectors. Another coax jumper. This is 160 watt, 25 watt in, 160 watt out, two meter VHF amplifier. So this also has a preamp on receive, which helps with CW and sideband. This was a Huntsville Hamfest purchase, and it seems to work pretty well. So we're gonna put it to use today, sending out some strong RF. The rig. Yaesu FT-857 in the Range Max pistol case. LMR-240 coax to feed the VHF antenna. Try to minimize loss without having too much bulk and weight. Tripod for the camera. And the foam seat pad. And that's pretty much it, uh, other than the batteries in the pack. Got a 12 amp hour BioNO. Got a 10 amp hour 3S LiPo, and the uh, AD6DM Denco Special 6 amp hour lithium iron phosphate as well. So that should keep my rigs fueled for the day. I think that's about it. So let's put some antennas together. All right, so let's get this thing set up. First things first, we've got our boom that we need to get set up here. So this boom is made out of C-channel aluminum. So the boom is made out of sections of C-channel aluminum, multiple different sizes here with some uh, steel hardware in there. And 
that allows it to fold open just like so. So there you can get a look at the joint and the hinge here, which allows the boom to fold up nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and unfold the boom, extend it out, and all these handy Velcro straps. <coughs> Set that down for a second. The antenna itself mount onto this PVC section, which mounts right onto my mast here. So before we get it up too high to reach, we gotta get some elements on this thing and some coax. So let's get assembling. All right, and the elements just screw right on like this. So there you have it folks, six elements, nine and a half DBD of forward gain, and a hell of a lot of fun in about a two pound package. Let's get this thing up on the mast, connect some coax, and see if we can find anybody on the two meter band. Well, there you have it, folks. The antenna's up and ready to rock and roll. Ridiculous? Yeah, it is. But it's also a heck of a lot of fun. Amplifier, battery. Well, I am officially set up, ready to rock and roll. So let's give this a try. Hello CQ, CQ 2 meters, Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo Kilo calling CQ. W9 SSN off the back of the beam, how you doing this morning Gus? Uh, doing pretty good, I was just trying to chase uh, a little HF and uh, saw you pop up so I figured I'd run out and try to catch you, it looks like you're up on uh, windy, windy Peak again. That's the spot, yeah hoping to pick up some of the Arizona boys, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for the contact, 5-9 uh, if I didn't give it to you already. Yeah, you're 5'9 as well, obviously, uh, and I don't know if you've got 20 with you, but uh, there's a guy in Svalbard on the summit um, near the island, way north of Norway, uh, on sideband on 14260. I, I can hear a little bit, but I can't copy him, but that'd be an interesting contact if you could copy it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't have an antenna up for HF right now, um, and that would take me a minute to get it up in the air. Uh, dang it. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, 7 3. Well, got one local contact, Gus, W9SSN. Hello, CQ, CQ2 meters. Hello, CQ, CQ2 meters. Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo yeah. Kilo, calling CQ. I have was that Kilo Charlie 9 Alpha Juliet? Uh, okay, I heard Alpha. 
Alpha Whiskey Zero. Thank you. Um, I am 56 Sierra Delta 026. And you are 5252 QSL? Alpha QSL, QSL, North Direction 73. Thanks for the contact. Woohoo! Got Arizona Alpha Whiskey 006. That's probably at least a couple hundred miles, if not more. Woohoo! All right, Ron K6 CPR is ready. He is on Cerro Noroeste up to the north. We'll give it a try. <laughs> All right, Ron, let's see if we can get you. Ramp on. Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. Kilo 6 Charlie Papa Romeo K6 CPR, you're 525252 QSL. Roger, 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 Roger. I copy 4-1, I copy 4-1. Well, we got Ron 204 miles away on Cerro Noro Este, so that is super cool. Great contact, uh, great to get you in the log, Ron, and thanks for doing that. We've got quite a lot of dirt in the way, but uh, still made it happen. Well, John, as always, I appreciate you chasing. You have a great day, and um, I'll look for you next time. Kilo 6, Lima Delta, Quebec. This is KG6 MPS 73, John. K6ARK, summit to summit. Yeah, you too. You do full, uh, full scale. You're knocking all the bars down. KG6MGS, yours at SOCA. K6ARK, summit to summit. K6ARK, good morning, Adam. How are you? I am doing well. Uh, I'm on Sierra Delta 026 um, and uh, running about 30 watts here, horizontally polarized right now. But uh, I got one of the guys in Arizona and I got uh, Ron K6 CPR on Cerro Noroeste, which is over 200 miles. So it's been a good morning on two meters. Over. Yeah, that's rocking uh, getting into Arizona. Um, you are up and down, but 5.9 at your peak from here on uh, through peak, uh, Whiskey 6, Charlie Tango 005. Anyone else on frequency? Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo beaming north northwest from San Diego. Kilo India 6 Sierra Lima Alpha. Kilo 6 Lima Delta Quebec. November 6, extra Zulu November. Kilo 6 Yankee Oscar Oscar. K6 ARK and 6 XTX. K6ARK, this is KM6DDG on the top of Mount Baden Powell. Over. K6ARK, you are 5'9. This is KM6 GOH on Summit Charlie Tango 004. K6ARK, K6 Zulu X ray radio. His name here is Tom Tango Oscar Mike. This is Zulu in the center. Hotel Charlie Zulu, monitor in the frequency. Well, that sounds good to me. I'm down here in the old part of Yuma, Yuma, Arizona. Seven three. Any other final calls? Kilo six Alpha Romeo Kilo Mountaintop Portable. Nothing heard. K6ARK is QRT. Uh, station ending in Echo Sierra again. Yes, this is X ray Echo to Echo Sierra. X ray Echo to Echo Sierra off the back of the beam. You are 5959 into the mountains east of San Diego. Over. Uh, thank you all for your 59. Uh, your 59 in here in Mexicali. Uh, and you fan, uh, I watch your video. <laughs> awesome, hey, thank you. Uh, what's your name? Name here is Adam, Alpha Delta Alpha Mike. Uh, hey Adam, uh, my name is Marco. 
Marco, eh, I'm here in Mexico. Muchas gracias, Marco. Uh, mi español es no bueno, pero muchas gracias por contacto. Gracias, Adam. Gracias. Eh, tienes tres. Voy a seguir viendo tus videos. Hasta luego. 73. Adiós. 73. <laughs> well, that was cool. I got a Mexican station there right at the end. Marco, thank you so much for the contact. Great to get you in the log. Um, that was cool. I think I'm going to pack this up and head down. I've got some family visiting here. It was kind of dark. Lighten it up a little. Got some family visiting and uh, got to get back down the hill to go meet up with them for, uh, for a, a dinner this evening. Well, I had a blast today. I hope you did too. It's time to head down from the summit. What a great day, 54 contacts in the log with many summit to summit. Oh, it's a little baby horned lizard. Those things are so dang cute. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can get this on uh, camera with this wide lens, but let's give her a try. Sorry, I'm easily distracted by cute lizards. <laughs> what a great day. 54 contacts in the log. Whole bunch on two meter simplex. Uh, although not quite as good as last time I was up here. I don't think we quite had the same tropospheric ducting conditions that were helping us get out into Arizona. However, I still made a 258 mile, I think it was. I'll we'll have to measure that and uh, error check myself here. But 250-ish mile, two meter simplex contact out to Arizona, and then a 204 mile contact with quite a lot of mountains in the way to run K6 CPR up on Cerro Noroeste. So, heck of a day, heck of a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, appreciate you guys joining me today. Hope you had a good time as well. 7-3 for now from Adam at K6 ARK Portable Radio.